Hey guys, what's up? I'd like to do a pros and cons video of why to jailbreak. Why why you should jailbreak. Well, if you don't know what jailbreaking is, it lets you get third party applications on an iPhone or an iPod Touch. I'm just going to move it over here. Slide to unlock. And as you can see, I have a wallpaper behind my icons. And this is an iPod and this is on 3.1.3 just to let you know. Also, I have a five icon dock. It's called Five Icon Dock. You also get this app called Cydia. It sits in your springboard. Also, we can see up here. I have a numeric battery thing. It says ninety four percent. That's kind of cool. And this is on an iPod Touch second generation. Now you see you got Cydia. It's kind of cool. Now you can got like sections. Okay, I don't really need to know that. Okay, I just clicked the home button. Let's go with the cons first. The cons are, there's a couple of cons. The first con is you will void your warranty, so if you break it or something, you can try it. It sometimes works, it sometimes doesn't, but it's worth a try, you never know. Next is, it, your iPod might get bricked, but they fix that, you just hold the home and the home and power button for 10 seconds and then release the power button keep holding the home button and then your TFU mode you can restore on iTunes and then try it again also you get oh wait yeah this is on the cons you can also like con, like the next con is some apps that do not work like Skype app does not work so like if I installed the Skype app it wouldn't work so Oops, I've already tried it. It says a warning. This cannot work on an unmodified version. So I hear something in the background. That's our washer and dryer. Or our washer. Maybe you hear that. That's from my brother. My brother's clip. Also, you get... So that's basically the cons of it. Like, some apps will not work like Skype, but if you're on an iPod Touch without those headphones, why the heck do you even need Skype? Next is the pros which is pretty normal. People always make pro videos but never con videos. So, I might as well get to the pros. The pros are customization. The first one that most people do it for is customization, which you can see I have a wallpaper behind my icons. And then this transparent dock, because the dock ain't there anymore. Sorry if you're my brother. And then, yeah. I'll show you kind of like customize. My brother's trying to get, tell me to go away. In case you can like change your wallpaper. Let's change the wallpaper to the earth wallpaper. Everybody likes this one. And as you can see, the earth is behind my icons. Next one is you can install cracked apps, which is dangerous actually because it's illegal. Yeah, why do I keep opening up Stanza? And uh, the pro, there's another pro. I just gotta think of it for a second. Oh yeah, you can get tweaks from Insidia, which Apple doesn't let you. Like I know Rotate, Five Icons, Five Icons Springboard. And you can also like and like the numeric battery up here. Tells you exactly how much battery you have left, which is kinda nice. But I kinda miss my Skype app, even though I don't have those special headphones. Also you get themes. Now oh, crap, it's reloading the data. This does it every once in a while, so I'm not even gonna bother. It'll go away. And yeah, that's pretty much it if I can remember anything else. But thanks guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be doing jailbreak videos, or not jailbreak videos, like app reviews. I don't know if I'll do a jailbreak video, but stay tuned. I'll let you guys know. Peace.